another aspect of intent is just not allowing life to happen to you. Yeah. But you attacking life. And understanding that you're exactly where you are right now. For those watching, you're exactly yeah. where you are right this second, good, bad, or indifferent. And it's all on you. Like it's all your fault. It's all based on the things you've done. Yeah. And taking that ownership and saying, okay, now that I know that, and that's me that got myself here, I can get myself to wherever in the world I want to go. But I have to figure out what my intent is on the front end. Yeah. yeah. Um, to be able to guide me in the right direction so that I can do things on purpose, but that there's purpose behind it. Yeah. But being intentional, one thing I will mention with that, uh, something new here is, is it's so important to be intentional with your time. And, you know, a lot of what we uh, talk about is, you know, with life goals and taking people through this process of having three goals in each of the four areas of life, um, your relationships, your body, your mind, your business. Um, the key to that, that process is being intentional with the time that you're spending in those areas. So, you know, I, I'm the kind of person that I, I want to be all in in all areas. And what that means is that when I'm home, I want to be intentional with that time when I'm home. I want to be intentional about the, with the time with my wife. I want to be intentional with the time with my daughter. When I'm at work, I want to be intentional in the, in the, in the tasks that I have to get done uh, for the day. Uh, when I'm at the gym, I want to be intentional with the time uh, that I have at the gym, uh, and, and which creates an environment of efficiency. And so I may be on the road three to four nights a week, and I've told people this just straight to their face. I am spending more quality time with my wife, even though I'm on the road four nights a week, than you, and you're home every single night. That's a fact. I am spending more quality time because the phone's put away. You're actually having conversations. But I think the relationships that I want to focus on are the ones that I'm intentional about, and the ones that are mutually beneficial in growing one another and pushing one another and challenging one another and you know talking about you know uncomfortable things difficult things talking about you know someone that I can you know talk about my struggles but also someone I can uh, celebrate with I think that's a big missing piece a lot of people don't have like everyone needs a friend or multiple friends that they can celebrate the things that happen and that they can that that person will be genuinely like joyful in that celebration like man I've been working on this deal for you know 14 months and I finally just closed it and that person's like equally or greater happy than you are about the deal versus those friends that you like that are like um, you know must be nice yeah, but, yeah. Uh, kind of are living that life um, but if there's no intention then I would really challenge people to look into, is it actually a bad intention? Am I, am I hanging out with that person just to escape from reality? Am I hanging out with that person to make myself feel better where I am, which is a real thing. Like, am I, am I hanging around with this group of people today because it's gonna make me feel great about where I am now because at the level that they're at? And what's my intention behind that? Uh, there's, there's a lot of dynam dynamics there, but I think it's just important to understand that every single thing you do is with intent, either good or bad.